Hey everyone, welcome to today's YouTube video. Um, my topic today is a pretty fun one. We're going to be comparing two of the best colleges in the entire United States, two of the most prestigious colleges in the U.S., and two of the best colleges in terms of their location. We're going to be talking about USC and UCLA, the battle of the two best colleges, or two of the three best colleges in Los Angeles, and for most of you, two of the only practical college options if you're not super into technology or engineering um, with Caltech, obviously. So USC and UCLA are both great schools, and we're going to dive in and look at things like the academic experience, the location, sports and extracurricular activities, and other options on campus in terms of campus life, financial aid, what it takes to get in, and much, much more. So stay tuned and yeah, enjoy the YouTube video. So in terms of academics, uh, USC has 23 professional schools uh, across undergraduate, graduate, um, and sort of professional development, right? Now, um, there's many different colleges uh, for accounting, social work, etc. But probably the one that USC is most uniquely known for um, is the film school, the USC School of Cinematic Arts, right? It, it's number one on Hollywood Reporter's American Film Schools ranking. It's uh, very highly ranked in our film school rankings as well. I'll just double check uh, where it's ranked, but it's ranked really, really well. Um, with College Vine as well. Um, and uh, yeah, USC has an awesome, awesome fil film school. It has a ton of graduates who have gone on to do amazing things in Hollywood. Robert Zemeckis, Ron Howard, George Lucas, Will Ferrell, Timothy Oliphant, and many, many more. Um, so, so it is absolutely one of the best film schools in the entire United States. Um, and that's something that is definitely unique to UC USC, um, despite the fact that technically I believe UCLA is actually physically closer to Hollywood, um, the, um, you know, UC UCLA is definitely more of, um, USC, sorry, is definitely more of the film school in terms of uh, what uh, students are focused on, right? Another great school at USC is obviously the School of Business, right? USC has a really, really strong uh, business program. There's a lot of USC alums who are obviously quite wealthy, um, who really care about the school and who do a great job of kind of tying back into the school and helping out further further alums. And that is one thing to consider. UCLA is a public college, and so what ends up happening is there's some UCLA alums who are super into their UCLA experience and, you know, eager to help UCLA students and stuff like that. And there's a re obviously a bigger alumni network. So there's going to be more people in more places, more people internationally, et cetera. But USC, on the other hand, does have a little bit of a stronger alumni network, right? There may be fewer USC alums spread around the country and around the world, but they tend to have a stronger connection to USC. So from that perspective, that's kind of the trade-off in terms of the alumni network. But uh, you know, as far as far as the um, sort of circumstances go, I, I think they're they're both awesome alumni networks. And I just want to quickly walk through uh, where USC ranks on our film rankings. Um, so USC is number one, but you'll see that UCLA is actually number two. So UCLA also has a really really good film program. It just doesn't quite have the reputation of UCLA's film program. Or sorry, USC's film program. So. <laughs> Like, like I said earlier, some of the more popular majors at USC are business, management, marketing, um, social sciences, visual and performing arts. That's kind of where that film comes into play. USC also is a really, really good school for broadcast journalism and for journalism more broadly, which these days is mostly you know, broadcast, podcast, etc. right? Um, so USC has a really, really good journalism program, and it's increasingly becoming a hub for journalism um, insofar as there are journalism organizations left in the country. Um, so if you want to minimize your chances of living Living with eight different roommates in an apartment um, after trying to make your way, uh, you know, into the world of journalism. I say this as a formal journalist, so don't get mad at me. I would say that USC is maybe um, the, one of the better schools in the country to go to, along with Northwestern, University of Missouri, and a couple others. Now, UCLA is a little bit more broad-based in terms of the majors that it's famous for. So um, UCLA obviously has an awesome business school, awesome economics program, right? In fact, U US UCLA is probably the best or the second best economics program in the country uh, for uh, amongst public schools, in my opinion, depending on uh, what you look at. Um, so it's a really, really strong school for, for econ, um, definitely. And uh, UCLA obviously just has great engineering programs, great pre-med programs, great nursing programs. 
pretty much every school at UCLA is great. Now, one other area where UCLA does really, really well uh, is when you look at political science. And in particular, what you want to look at there is that UCL UCLA is one of the big feeders for people who end up becoming uh, politicians in the state of California, who go into pol uh, politics, policy, any of that kind of work in California, right? So for most of the country, if you want to work in polit uh, you know, politics, if you want to work in political science, if you want to work either in policy or run for office, oftentimes going to school in DC or maybe to like one of the elite Ivies or something like that is often a great way, like it is often important um, or a big way that you become part of politics. But in California, because they have such great universities in California, actually what you'll notice is that a lot of the politicians and a lot of the uh, folks who end up in policy roles actually tend to be from UCB, um, UCLA, to a lesser extent USC and some of the other schools. But U UCLA is a big feeder in particular for um, for the um, you know, policy roles and politics scene in California. So that's one thing that's maybe a little bit more unique to, to UCLA. UCLA also has a, probably a stronger engineering program. Uh, it's about even in, in terms of pre-med, I would actually maybe pick USC over UCLA, but for pretty much every other scientific field and engineering field, certainly I would probably pick uh, UCLA. It has a stronger rep for, for most of those programs. All right, um, so that's that. Next up, we have the. Next up, we have uh, the film school. Obviously, like we said earlier, really, really strong. That's going to be in your top ten. We actually rank it number two, uh, because again, one of the things with film, and and this is, I don't know how many of you are interested in film school, but one of the things you want to watch out for with film schools is that you know when you're looking for a film school. A lot of your success is going to be determined by being on location. And by being on location, really in the context of today's media industry, that means you're either in LA, maybe you're in New York, but that's pretty much it. You got to be in one of those two cities. And so being in UCLA, where it also has a great film program, that's going to give you a leg up because when it comes down to competing for internships or looking for those indie productions or something like that to go and work on, obviously all of this sort of pre and post pandemic. Being in Los Angeles is hugely, hugely valuable. It's going to do a lot for you in terms of helping you to get your foot in the door in an industry that's so driven by networking, right? I think with something like an engineering role or computer science role, where networking is a little bit less important than demonstrating technical competency, right? It's a little bit more okay to go to school in different parts of the country, though you still benefit from being in hot spots where a lot of companies are hiring engineers or programmers. But with something like film, where it's a lot more about networking, there's not really an objective measure of your abilities as a filmmaker, as a director, as a writer. Being able to be in person and network with people is hugely important. Um, and so that's why both USC and UCLA are great for film. And they're great for pretty much you know, a lot of different industries, in part because Los Angeles is such a creative town and it's such a big, important economy across many, many different industries. All right, folks, and with that, that, that wraps up our comparison of USC and UCLA. As always, uh, we post pretty much daily here on the College Vine YouTube channel, so if you haven't had a chance already, be sure to hit the like button, uh, be sure to subscribe, be sure to hit the bell icon to uh, get notifications every time we go on air, every time we post a new video. We're going to be posting a lot more videos just like this. Definitely stay tuned for future videos from College Vine's YouTube, and if you haven't already, and if you're trying to navigate the admissions process right now, definitely be sure to go to collegevine.com. Sign up for a free account. It's 100% free. You're getting a ton of awesome resources and features, um, all advice that you know I and our team here at College Vine have put hours and hours and hours into building. Um, so definitely go sign up for an account at collegevine.com if you haven't already. And you know, good luck with the admissions process. You're applying in 2020. It's a really tough year. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes, but I'm going to do my best to give you advice and assistance um, to help you navigate the admissions process. Thanks. See you all later.